Hello everybody and welcome to my first of many videos that I will show you how to crochet. It isn't difficult, you just need to learn a few basic stitches. A lot of other stitches are just combinations of those stitches. But first, let's see what you will need. Okay, to start you will need yarn, a crochet hook and a pair of scissors that you will need to cut the yarn at the end of your project. With yarn there are different brands and kinds of yarn. The most commonly used yarn is acrylic yarn. If you take for example this one, at the back you will see all the information about the yarn. Here it says 100% acrylic. You will also see the recommended size of the crochet hook or knitting needles to be used with this yarn. With this one you will see it is a mixture and it contains wool as well as acrylic. And this is a locally produced yarn and as you can see it is 100% cotton. It also comes in different thickness. Like this one you will see it's a very thin strand where this double knit one is a little bit thicker. Also make sure when you are a beginner with crochet don't use a dark color as dark colors are a little bit more difficult to see where you need to work and also to see the detail of the stitches. With crochet hooks they come in different styles and sizes. The size of the hook will primarily depend on the thickness or the weight of the yarn. With thinner yarns you will need a thinner hook and with thicker yarns like a chunky you will need a bigger hook. Or it will also depend on which size the pattern requests. For the crochet hook types you get the most common stainless steel ones. The sizes of the hooks are on the hooks, like you can see the 8mm and the 3mm. With the thinner hook you will use thinner yarn and with the thicker hook you will use thicker yarns. You will also get plastic hooks. This one is for very very thick yarn. And my personal favorite is the soft grips. They are very nice to hold, they don't slip and also there's the size of the hook. You also get wooden hooks that are handmade so you can play around and test all the hooks and find out what works for you. To hold your crochet hook there are different ways to hold it. The way I hold my crochet hook is known as the knife grip where you will hold it like you will use a knife while eating. It's very comfortable. You can also hold it a pencil grip like the way you hold a pencil and you can crochet this way. Some people also hold it like this. So you need to play around and find a way and a grip that works for you and that is comfortable for you to use. Let's start with a slip knot. The slip knot is to begin your chains or your crochet work. I hold the end of the yarn in my left hand between my index and middle finger and my thumb. I twist it around my index finger and middle finger. I cross it over, just hold it with my thumb, take it around, insert your hook below the first yarn, over the second yarn and just pull it through. I just give it a twist to keep it in place, remove my fingers and pull. I will take the long yarn and just pull on that to tighten it on the hook. Let's do it again. I hold a piece of yarn, 
between my index finger and middle finger and my thumb. Just wrap it around my fingers. I cross it over, keep it in place, underneath the first yarn, over the second yarn. Pull it through, just twist it to keep it in place, remove your fingers and pull tightly. Take the longer yarn and just pull. There you have it. To crochet I just wrap the yarn around my pinky finger just to help me keep the tension and feed the yarn as I go. With a chain stitch you just yarn over from the back and you pull it through the loop that is on your hook. Again just yarn over from the back and pull it through the loop. Yarn over and pull it through the hook. Yarn over, pull it through the loop. Just make sure you don't crochet too tightly, otherwise you might just struggle to go through the loop. And if you crochet too loosely, you won't get a nice chain to work with. There you have it! As easy as pie. Just remember, don't give up. Practice makes perfect. In my next video, I will show you how to do a slip stitch and a single crochet. Remember to subscribe to my channel, press the like button of this video and click the bell button to keep up to date of new videos. See you next time.